Away 
Souls of Rain.
love for If we have to go out in the dark Bloody 
vase of rape. He calls the living, he calls the dead, he breaks the thunder. And then it seemed as if the whole world was burning, for only the strong survive. And all of the weak are trampled under What joy we had In the locust summers What fires we lit In the locust years Black hundreds, black thousands, and rivers that run, run rippled with red, ravaged and raped, with a roar, roar, roaring, what screaming joy, in the locust years, with the turning of the burning, the purity and pain, the screaming and the dreaming, the rapture and ascension, the mystery of the rosary, third secret of Fatima, and with heaven split all open, for his comrades in solitude, a whistle, I shall come to you. In this great work, he always answers the voice of the silence, the voice of the master. I shall lock all my doors and shatter the shutters, burn out the lights and turn on the gas. Therefore will I not look upon them. 
Then shall the priests behold the people departing from the house of the Lord, and turning unto the world, and setting up landmarks in the house of God. And they shall claim for themselves many things and places that were lost, and that shall be subject unto Caesar, as also they were aforetime, giving poll taxes of the cities, even gold and silver. And the chief men of the city shall be condemned, and their substance brought into the treasury of the kings, and they shall be filled. For there shall be great disturbance throughout all the people, and death also. The house of the Lord shall be desolate, and their altars shall be abhorred, so that spiders weave their webs there. The place of holiness too shall be corrupted, the priesthood polluted, agony shall increase, virtue shall be overcome, joy perish, and gladness depart. In those days evil shall abound, there shall be respecters of persons, hymns shall cease out of the house of the Lord, truth shall be no more, covetousness shall abound amongst the priests, an upright man shall not be found. On a sun there shall arise near the last time a king, a lover of the law, who shall hold rule not for long. He shall leave two sons. The first is named of the first letter L, the second of the eighth letter H. The first shall die before the second. Thereafter shall arise two princes to oppress the nations under whose hands there shall be a very great famine in the right hand part of the east, so that nations shall rise up against nation and be driven out from their own borders. Again, another king shall arise, a crafty man, and shall command a golden image of Caesar to be made, wherefore martyrdom shall abound. Then shall faith return unto the servants of the Lord, and holiness shall be multiplied, Agony increase. The mountains shall be comforted, and shall drop down sweetness of fire from the face, that the number of the saints may be accomplished. After a little space there shall arise another king out of the east, a lover of the law, who shall cause all good things and necessary to abound in the house of the Lord. He shall show mercy unto the widows and to the needy and command a royal gift to be given unto the priests. In his days shall be abundance of all things. And after that again, another king shall arise in the southern part of the world, and shall hold rule but a little space, in whose days the treasury shall fall because of the wages of soldiers, so that the substance of all the age shall be commanded and given to the king. Thereafter shall be plenty of corn and wine and oil, but great dearness of money, so that the substance of gold and silver shall be given for corn, and there shall be great dear. At that time shall be very great risings of the sea, so that no man shall tell news to any man. The kings of the earth and the princes and the captains shall be troubled, and no man shall speak freely. Grey hairs shall be seen upon boys, and the young shall not give place unto the aged. After that shall arise yet another king, a crafty man who shall hold rule for a short space, in whose days there shall be all manner of evils, even the death of the race of men from the east even unto Babylon, and thereafter death and famine and sword in the land of Canaan even unto Rome. Then shall all the fountains of waters and wells boil over and be turned into blood, into dust and blood. The heavens shall be moved, the stars shall fall upon the earth, the sun shall be cut in half like the moon, and the moon shall not give her light. There shall be great signs and wonders in those days when Antichrist to draw it near. These are the signs unto them that dwell in the earth. In those days the pains of great travail shall come upon them. In those days when Antichrist now draweth near, these are the signs of annihilation. Woe unto them that dwell on the earth, in those days great pain shall come. Woe unto them that build. 
for they shall not inhabit. Woe unto them that break up the fallow, for they shall labor without when I was a child Woe and many unto of them my mother that make marriages for up to Desolation. Many shall they be get sons. Woe when unto I was a them child and the parents of my father or field to field for all the Themselves while time Silence! Is, for they shall be condemned. Silence! Woe unto them that turn away from the poor when he asked it. When I was a child in the belly of my son, when I was a child in the hands of my father, I am the Father most high. I am the Father of all spirits. my way let me go up let me go down I have no other work to do
It would have been better Not to be the mother It is sorrowful When a son goes away Let alone And when he dies I watched quietly When the grave was being dug Knowing that he won't come back And I shall not be here For much longer Even if I become Like a king or like the wind Never, never will death stay away But when he called me from above Neither voice nor word to say yes You just quietly say yes To him It is a debt which must be paid. Here is your flesh. Take it from me. It seems to me But you can't destroy it Having spent the day with pain Am I going to spend the night with pain? This living to eat Is so tiring for me I am feeling cold inside let me go on seeking fire Even death is better Than this useless life The mast of a ship A nakedness the leader of horse Sheds the female breast He tramples down the ass the furnace Godlike and piercing Binding and bitter And cleaving asunder Bones wound together Paleness breaking and rending, abiding in a place, tending unto nothingness, dampness tending unto corruption.
the mountains are cast down. Lions trembling with fury. By breaking and my barrenness. The destroyer of days. The silent lion. Winnowing with fury. The death of flesh. He moves with a creeping motion. They destroy by the stifling of their smoky breath. The pain bringers, they shriek with a long, long, drawn, drawn cry. Body pulsing with its own time power, each body alone and racked with its own time still. In that loneliness, marooned in a stone sea, I heard lips whispering continuous and felt all the time in the palms of my hands and in my skin the need for contact. Shut behind thirteen bolted doors, my feet fettered. I dreamed only of the orifices of the body put there so that one may hook and twine oneself in them. Stand still. Continually I dreamed of this confrontation and it was a dream of the most savage, jealous and cruelest imagination. Thou fool tomorrow, thou must die. 